be making bases. All right, so now that we know basically what a compressor does, let's look at some compression settings. I'm gonna go over here to the kick drum and we're gonna go ahead and go to the audio effects section and add a kick or a compressor to that uh, kick drum. Go to compressor, stereo, and then you're good to go. Now, there are several different settings here. If we look at, at this, what, all, what do all of them mean? I'm gonna be going from left to right, um, up to down or, or whatever. So the first thing we're gonna look at is threshold. All right, the one thing to keep in mind when a threshold is, it's, it's basically saying that when is it's, it's gonna tell when the compressor is actually gonna uh, kick in, okay? So for instance, if you look right here, it says DB, that stands for decibels, and that means how loud the, the signal's coming in. So if the signal's coming in, say, oh, um, negative six DB, if I have the, the threshold set, um, at a certain DB, okay, let's say negative six, that means that when, when the uh, signal comes into negative six, hits that, anytime the signal goes over that, that's when the actual compressor is gonna work. Vice versa, so say like we go down to like say negative 17, so that means that if the compressor, like if the signal goes over negative 17, okay, that means that this, that's when the compressor is actually gonna work, all right? Ratio is dealing with how much compression is added um, at, at a certain level, okay? So for instance, this is at like say, uh, if it's at a four to one ratio, that means that anytime you it goes at over like four dB or whatever, it's going to compress it by one dB, okay? And in, I don't want you to overthink these things. It just means that, you know, this is going to be an amount of compression that's going to be applied. That's what ratio is. It's the amount of compression that's applied. Threshold is is just dealing with when the compression actually, at what level does the compressor, compression work. This is the amount, okay? Um, makeup gain is dealing with, um, like sometimes the compression can be in some some instances can make the sound softer or attenuate the sound. Makeup gain will make that make up for that. So you can push that up or down to make up for how loud the compression actually hits afterwards. Um, knee basically. Uh, well, let's talk about attack and release first. The attack is, is dealing with how fast the compressor is going to work. So you can give different effects on that. Like for instance, say if you if you have the kick drum coming in and you want it to be more of a, a super quick thump, then you're gonna want that compressor to work you know almost immediately compared to say if you wanted to kind of come in a little bit slower on certain instrument sounds or whatever, you might push that attack up. Release is talking about how long the compressor is gonna work, okay, until you know saying until you went get it to stop. And then knee. Is dealing with how the compressor, how long the compressor is going to be after it actually kicks in. All right, and I know I'm kind of going fast on this, but because I was really wanted to give an overview, and then we're going to show you practically um, in in the next lectures to come, like what you can do to manipulate it or whatever. Output gain is kind of like makeup gain in a sense. It's just another way to move the signal up and down after com after the compressor is actually um, applied. Compression is actually applied to that instrument. All right, so you get where get where we're coming from, basically, where with the basic settings here. Now, in the next lecture, let's kind of go ahead and talk about uh, or or give some live demonstrations of how to use the compressor. Okay.